I, I feel like lately with developments in, in Russia, China and so forth, there are, um, there are initiatives uh, trying to um, weaken the US dollar as a reserve currency. Do you feel uh, that, do, are, are people afraid of, of that in the US, that this could happen in, in the near to mid future, that the US D will lose its dominant uh, reserve currency status? And what, what think, is Bitcoin maybe playing for, like what role is Bitcoin playing in that scenario, if, if it is a scenario? Totally. I think, I think you have to separate the response into different, groups of people and i would say there are three just to, for simplicity's sake knowing full well they're closer to 500 um i'd say the first group is the bitcoiners who very much buy that narrative who kind of see the writing on the wall and see how the moves the u.s government is making and the moves that foreign governments are making are in a direct path to eventually have the u.s dollar no longer be the global reserve currency. I think there is a sentiment, and I'll speak for myself mainly, that should more countries be granted the ability to price oil in their own native currency, it doesn't need to be formally announced. It doesn't need to be a declaration from OPEC or from the EU or anywhere else saying, hey, the dollar is just, it's not the global reserve currency. To me, whatever is the global standard to price oil in will be, in the intermediate term, the global reserve currency. There's the secondary issue of the impending collapse of the European bond market. We've seen this happen across more developing nations. We see the collapse of the Japanese yen. There's now another class of people who I think actually think in the shorter term the strength of the dollar will continue to increase, but it's only inevitable that with that increase, now there's added pressure. And ultimately, I always go back to why would we believe that the people who made the decisions to put us to put us in this situation we find ourselves in now, why would they also be the same people who would be able to get us out of the position that they put us in? Mm -hmm. So I would I would explain sort of those those two within the Bitcoin community. And then there is, in my opinion, a vast majority of people in America who have no grasp or real understanding of what does it mean to have the global reserve currency be our native currency and be the currency that our country and government is able to print to no end. And for the vast majority of those people, they can be told all of these things and yet would rather just say, but it doesn't matter. Like the US dollar has existed my whole life and it will continue. And there's a lot of denial, I think. Um, I have it amongst close friends of mine who I'll have these types of conversations with and their response will just be like, yeah, but like, the government will figure it out. Like the U.S. dollar is just not, the dollar is not going to go away, um, and I think there will be a lot of pain in that class of people. I think a lot of them will be shocked when the inevitable happens. Um, and then the the final group of people I think is or are the decision makers, the people in government who maybe see some of but not all of what the class of Bitcoiners see the inevitability of the end of the dollar. And they think that if they do just one or two things correctly from here on out, that things will return back to normal and everything will be fine and dandy. And the US dollar and the USA will remain in power. And I genuinely believe it's the combination of both of those ideas that gives fuel to our policymakers here in this country. Um, whether they're right or wrong, I believe they're wrong. I've said for some time now that like the best example of this is Jerome Powell coming out in 2021 saying inflation will be transitory. Don't you worry about it. It's not a problem. Only to then in April or May 
go under oath in a hearing in front of Congress and say, yeah, we made a mistake. We didn't know as much as we thought we did. And that's why we find ourselves here. I have no reason to believe that it, from that moment in time to today, he's learned so much that his decisions will right the ship. But mm -hmm. I also, I think I am in the minority, truthfully.